You live or work in downtown, you've probably seen those driverless Waymo cars on the roads. Self-driving technology has come a long way in recent years, but there are still glitches here and there. And that includes a recent Waymo traffic jam in Phoenix. Team 12's William Pitts has the story. We're not perfect drivers. Every once in a while we go somewhere we're not supposed to go. We stop where we're not supposed to stop and a cop has to come tell us to move. But who do you talk to in one of these? Traffic stuck, drivers yelling. Except that guy's not yelling at anyone because these are fully driverless Waymos. There's no one in them. This is a Waymo traffic jam, maybe the first ever. Spoiler, it's not the first. Apparently driverless cars get stuck every so often. It just hasn't happened that often in Phoenix. Ain't nobody in it. This is a driverless car from a company called Cruise. This is crazy. Getting pulled over in San Francisco for not having its headlights on. But no one to give a ticket to. Other driverless cars have gotten stuck on dead end streets in San Francisco. Sir, we cannot move. We're sorry. A Phoenix police officer tried to tell this one where to go unsuccessfully. We're not driving. Driverless Waymo traffic jam in Phoenix. It's clearly a glitch in the system, so I haven't seen anything quite as big as this with a number of Waymos being confused. Andrew Maynard studies self-driving cars at ASU. He's not surprised they get stuck. When you're dealing with a system where it's using sensors to detect what everything else is doing, as soon as you get two or three of those together, you're going to have unexplained and unexpected consequences. Programming these things is really, really hard. It's basically trying to rewrite the part of your brain that drives a car and then stick it inside the car. Not everything always works out right. 12 Waymos without drivers. Maynard says he doesn't know why they get stuck. He's not sure anyone's figured it out completely. After all, if they did, it wouldn't happen. <laughs> Companies are working on this, but I think there are some glitches to iron out. I don't think that they're critical glitches, but we've got to work out what happens when something really unusual happens and you really need a human in place. Waymo told us these cars did get stuck and sent a statement saying we have teams and systems in place to assist the vehicles when needed, and our operations team cleared the vehicles once they arrived on location. We've identified the software that contributed to this situation and made appropriate updates across our fleet. Waymo also said they met with Phoenix PD later on to talk about what happened and what they can do if and when it happens again. William Pitts, 12 News. All right. I'd still like to try one, though. All right. Thanks so much, Will.